Hi, uh, today I've got to do this video of, this is absolutely, I've been doing lots of, lots of um, studying on uh, YouTube and thanks to Veterinary Secrets, um, he's helped me a lot. This, this video is going to be cat flu, cat coughing, cat hacking. If your cat is going to keep going <gasps> like um, <coughs> really like coughing and hacking then just watch this video because I've done a lot, of, a lot, a lot of research. I've owned cats for many, many years and I think I've been through lots of things. I'll go through cat flu first. I'm in the process of doing this one. Now, some cats can just get over it really, really, really quick and be okay, but then other cats will have reoccurring. Now, I watched Veterinary Secrets and he said, you're going to have to watch his video because he gives you loads more than what I'm giving you. Um, my cats haven't got cat flu, um, but they did have, because I've owned cats for years and years and years, and he gives you remedies. If they've got a snotty nose, then if they can't breathe, they won't eat. And he gives you the full version of remedies to unblock the nose and then treat them and uh, at least get your cat eating first and then the remedies. But then there's some cats that have the virus and it stays with them and then just comes out now and again. Now what he says to do, <laughs> and it's funny, I've had this in my cupboard since April 22, never used it. And uh, he says use, and I've started using it now, Al Lysine. I got this from Amazon and it says put a third of a teaspoon on the food or in the water. So I've got it out of my cupboard and um, I've started using it because he believes this is anything that, that will eradicate cat flu if your cat's got it in the system. So although none of mine have got cat flu, um, some did have it, so if I can eradicate it, then I've, I've started put this in the water. The cat's immune system needs uh, vitamins. So this is going in my cat's water, a third of a teaspoon, and I'm giving it all my cats um, just to eradicate if any of them are, could possibly be carriers or maybe lingering or whatever. But he believes this is anything that will completely get rid of it. Now, I'm not a vet, I'm not a vet at all. Now, if your cat does have cat flu, you may need to take to the vets to get antibiotics if it's really bad. Um, well, I'm using that now and hopefully, um, I also use Safe 4, I've got a big box of Safe 4 where I clean all my floors with, all my tops with, totally to eradicate because cat flu is really, really bad, really, really bad for your cats. <coughs> Sorry, I've got something in my eye. Hang on. I don't know, something. Right, now let's get to cat coughing cat hacking now if you've got a cat that's sitting there hacking and constantly and my sophia was hacking a lot a real lot and i didn't know what that was now there's certain things called heartworm lungworm and i've really studied this but i forgot it i mean <laughs> It goes, goes in and then goes back out again. I do have to write things down. And there's something in... I found out this. 
what to use if your cat is coughing or hacking you use this panic here this is brilliant there's something in this that I can't remember what it is now with long worm heart worm or whatever worm this is the best thing that you can use for your cat now i've always had a uh, panic in but i've only used it for my kittens i just give all my whole cats a dose of this now there is a piece of paper inside that gives you the dosage for the weight of your cat and how much to give them my cats are big cats so their dosage was four mil for two days or three days or basically with them all being adults it was like eight mil but the difficulty is getting it in the cat i mean this does say you can put it in food when you've got lots of cats like i've got then it's a little bit difficult you don't know who's going to get what. So I had to get syringes and syringe feed them. And um, so I give them four mil one day and then four mil another day, which meant they were getting eight mil. So, but if you've just got the one cat, then you can just put it in the food because trust me, they do not like it. And it's really difficult to get it in because they just do not like it. <laughs> Oh my god, you see, it weren't fun because I had to do it for two days as well and I got, I got them all again. And the second day, the kind of knew that I know what that is, I'm arriving there. So I got them like between my legs and I got the red. <laughs> and um, it's Donnie. Yeah? I mean, she is um, one of my oldest cats and she used to act a lot. I don't do it now. And that has just given her two doses of panic here. And I thought, well, no, I might as well do it to the rest as well. Just, um... Because I've not worn my cats for a while. But yeah, this is the best wormy for your cats. And I can't believe I've worn cats all these years. Never give this my adults. All seem to be doing well. Now, I'm only on day two for this outlicine. So, I'm going to have to see how that works. He did say it takes about 12 weeks to eradicate um, any cat flu virus. But, I don't think it'll take that long with my cats because none of them are showing any symptoms or anything. But also, um, to help your cat, you will need to give them vitamins and to keep them in top health. Yes, I'd like to purchase some of these vitamins. I've got no secrets. Uh, so, well, at the moment, these are good. But he also gives you some really good advice. I'm, I'm saying stuff up by as well. There was something else where he said bye. Um, I can't think of it right now. Um, Colloidal silver. Yes, that's another one that he said is really good. So I might I might get some of that in and try some of that. Oh, and he also believes in honey. He does um, natural antibiotics. So, but I am going to say this has stopped one of my cats hacking, Sophia. Uh, one of my older cats and it's worked brilliant so get some of this in and it will stop it and thanks for watching it's really out me so i just hope it helps you and uh, thanks for watching and bye